For our Claymore, we'll be using two balloons. We've got a gold 260, and I've inflated about two feet of that. We won't need all of it. And a silver 160 that I've inflated. Almost to the end, I've got about a one inch bubble left on the end of that. We'll start with our gold. And with metallics, always make sure they're soft, squeeze them well. Make about a one inch bubble. Then you're going to make a small half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. Another small half inch bubble, also a pinch twist. Position those on opposite sides of each other. Make about a two inch bubble, slightly larger, three quarter inch bubble for a new year twist or a pinch twist here. Then about a two inch bubble, two more three quarter inch bubbles that are made into ear twist as well. So what we have is a small bubble, two ear twists or pinch twists positioned opposite of each other, another bubble, another pinch twist, another bubble, and then two more pinch twists. Now we're going to repeat the process and make another piece just like that. Just come over here, make another two inch bubble, three quarter inch bubble, make that a pinch twist. Another two inch bubble, you want this about the same size as that one. Keep our symmetry. Half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist as well. And then one more little bubble, same size as this one over here. Take our excess off, secure the end of the notch, and then I'll trim off any extra there. And I'll cut that fairly close. Now we're going to take our silver, starting at the knot end, I'll make about a one inch bubble, about a three quarter inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist, another three quarter inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist as well. And then for however long you're, you want your handle, it should be big enough that your hand can hold it, so about a five or six inch bubble there works great. Twist that, and now we're going to take and twist that in between these two middle ear twists here, or pinch twist. Bring it up through there. Circle it around to ensure that it's locked into place. And you want to turn these so that they'll hold everything straight. You can't see it all on camera, but here's our Claymore. Sometimes it doesn't go quite to the end. Give it a little squeeze so that it goes all the way out. And there's our Claymore sword.